Okay, so this is a build video, which you can tell by the title. So I kind of want to make this video because I'm. I kind of want to make a video of this build because I've been using it forever and it's pretty good, but I am so bored of it already. <laughs> well, it's not the build itself, it's. um, I have played like for 200 hours. <laughs> Don't judge me. Uh, I've been addicted to this game, and I need to try. Actually, it's not necessarily I need to try a new build. I just need to stop playing this game. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. But before I do that, I kind of want to explain what my build has been for the majority of the time I've been playing this game. So, this is mostly a um, I guess you could call it a paladin build. I'm, I'm guessing paladins are like holy warriors. So, I don't know. You use a lot of miracles. That's pretty much. And you concentrate a lot in fate, so I guess you could call it a paladin. Sounds cooler than a cleric. <laughs> so, they so before I continue, taking out the this on uh, the way some of the equipment I have, it is because that's what I I wanted to keep it true to my first playthrough. So I wanted, even though there's better equipment I can put on, I'm a big I wanted to keep it a lot true to my um first playthrough. Plus I uh, um. So fashioned, it's it rolls deep in me. So let me show you what the bell is. So it's a 150 uh, level bell, which it doesn't matter because you know soul memory. My God, I really want to make a video how much I hate soul memory. It's it, it's gonna be one of the things that's gonna ruin um, multiplayer. I, I'm glad that a lot of people are figuring it out. I even saw a petition of it, but yeah, it's pretty dumb. And also spices. Uh, no, this is not a video. Showing, um, telling what I think is stupid in the game. No, it's a build video. So, yeah. So let's start with the my equipment. So as I said, I, I'm trying to keep it true to my um to my to what I used um, when I barely started. So that's why I have the everything. It's fully upgraded here. So for my leggings and my my legs and my hand, I use hand hands <laughs> I only have one hand I use a uh, drag lake stuff it's really early in the game um I love this stuff there's better stuff to wear now like the king said looks really awesome and I can wear some stuff that looks better but I've been using this ever since I started with the game so that's why I decided you know what let's upgrade it the chest piece the oven armor of alvet or what why do I put a T by what English I suck at English the of armor. I love this armor. So this game, um, compared to Dark Souls 2, it's hard to say what looks better, but I, the, the way the clothes move in, the, in this game, it's really cool. There's like physics. And this chest piece really shows it off. I really like the chest piece. And uh, my helm. This is only like, in terms of my the far on helm, which by the way you can get um you get it like really late in the game and not late but in the Dragon Lake Castle um in one of the doors it's like a little trap there and it, you drop down where the sentinels are not the boss sentinels but where they spawn oh and the other number you get it by wasting sixteen thousand souls I think with the merchant the guy who sells boss clothes on um. Majula and then talking to him and he improves his stock and adds this But yeah, this is the only piece I have like actually changed over time like I used to have um, What did I have? I used to have this one then I had where's the other one? I used to have also this one But I I ultimately ended up changing to this one. once I changed to this one. I haven't changed back. I do like the the headpiece of the um, the mascot character, but yeah, that is my thing. It's nothing special. I'm not even gonna talk much about it. It's just something that I want to keep true to my first playthrough. Now the rings. So these two rings right here, they're mandatory. I pretty much need them. This uh, the third dragon ring. It's pretty much a mandatory ring for all builds because it increases your stamina. Your freaking um, I think you get it. it increases your stamina your weight 
in your um in your health. I don't know why I started there. And there's three types of ones. <laughs> Oddly enough, this is the hardest one to get. <laughs> the first one, which it doesn't buff it as much as this one. But yeah, it's a it's a really cool ring because it buffs it pretty much buffs everything. The only downside of it is break, so but you don't see a lot of builds running like that spell or anything that breaks your equipment. You kind of do. It's something I actually want to make too. Sounds like the best troll, troll thing, just breaking people's equipment. The Southern Ritual Ring. Um, you run this plus two. I'm running it because it gives me three slots, and I use um I use four of them. So I only have ten or two men. Oh shit. Um, I'll be right back. No, 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 I won't, no, I won't. Uh, I don't have my miracles for PvP. I have it for PvE right now. Oh, I guess I'll leave it like this, and I'll explain later. These two ring slots right here, um, they could be anything. Like, I just barely got the Vanquish here, so I've been <laughs> playing around with that. It's pretty cool. But usually, in the Ghost Slipper ring to get drop item drops, as you can see, I have, like, a lot of items. It's because I farm a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people who like farming. So, but, but in terms of PvP, I sometimes run this one, and this one just to stop me getting from Stunlock. Or maybe sometimes this one, or maybe the plus two ring. It just, these two rings slots are, could be anything. If I'm doing a covenant, like the Bell Tower, or the, or the Rag Covenant, I like wearing those rings. But, um, yeah, it's just, these two ring slots are just for anything. So that's what I have here. Okay, so I accidentally ended up breaking the sword as I was going to talk about my weapons. So I kind of want to be a little bit more clear what rings I use when I do PvP because this is mostly... I guess I'll show some PvE. No. I think rings... I, I just show the rings I'll use whenever I want to kind of... in PvP. So these are two rings I did show that I wanted to... Do. I use for PvE. This is mostly for, not necessarily for the damage output, but just to stop gankers. I consider it better than not gankers. Um, stun locks. It's better than sun ring because I I don't use a sun ring because it weighs three pounds and it, as you can see my weight it's not gonna work unless I cut some stuff. And plus I prefer the ring of thorns. It's like fuel sometimes is mostly guaranteed damage. The blue tier so ring makes me use spells faster. Uh, like if wet out it, uh, my cast speed is seventy one. Can you? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's cast speed seventy one. With it, I have one fifty seven. So it's pretty good. Um. Uh, I kind of don't want to explain where you get all these. You get this ring by defeating um, the Scorpionus on NG+. Plus. You get this on the castle. I know. I think no. I know where you get this one. You buy. You buy it from the Undead Crib. Is it Undead Crib? Yeah. The dude that says doesn't like light. And uh, the Blue Tear Ring. You get them. You get it for defeating the those. Skeleton thingy, majingis that spawn skeletons once you kill them. A really easy bot, but looks, but that looks hard. Other than those rings, other rings I use are, I'm really starting to use the life ring because it gives you like around 200. Hell, I don't know exactly how much, but it's, it's really good ring, at times. I also use the. By the way, you get this. Um, I don't even want to explain where you get this one. It's where the Shrine of Mana, where the, there's a hidden section, and that's where the ring is. Kind of the best way, the best thing I could say. Chronoly ring plus two, I totally forgot. I know you gotta defeat boss and energy plus to get this. I don't remember. I wanna say Gargoyles, but I know you got, the Gargoyles give you the Gold Serpent ring plus two, not this one. Uh, water rings. And this one, Bracing Knuckle on um, number two. I use this sometimes too because of this weapon will end up breaking. Well, you, I kind of I'll explain later what I'm 
once I get to the weapons, but right now I'm gonna go with the ring. So you really don't need the plus two or this ring at all. But it's nice to I prefer putting this one in sometimes and replacing this ring because it, uh, it's those two are not that important as the thorn ring. Let me see what else is there. Something that I know I use. Hmm. I think that is it. That's all I use when it comes to PP. I I'm really disappointed by this ring, by the way. <laughs> I thought I thought this ring meant if you put a red sign stone down, it will be white too. And I thought, oh, that would be so awesome, but nope. But yeah, that's I think that's all the rings. So weapons. The lighting door and gray sword. So this is I did used to use the the claymore. And the Claymore is really good, but I wanted some. I like Thorn Grace Room better, I guess. You could say for this specific bow. The Claymore is still one of my favorite weapons, if not my favorite weapon in any Soul game, to be honest. <laughs> I use it a lot also, and uh, it's, it's just a reliable weapon. And um, yeah, I have I have three of them. Regular one plus ten lightning. It's good. I like the. The one where it pokes and then it returns back with a slash. One of my favorite move sets. Um, one of the one another sword I've been wanting to give a try is the what's it called? Uh, God damn it! The defend the gray sword. But I made the shield by accident. Actually, it's it's not a bad weapon because it can buff itself and it has that move set that the claymore has. So, but as for now, I have this one. So what makes this sword really good for this bell is because the whole point of the bell is lighting and this one actually has R2s that throw lighting. And I'll show them, but first let me show you the the regular R1 attack. So the regular R1 attack is this, is that's, this is mostly what I use. It's just this whenever attacking. It's normal and most every other sword has that. I'm a little bit disappointed about this. It has this fancy move set. A lot of swords have this kind of thing where they're trying to be fancy and it's just so inefficient. But what this sword has, do I have the, the ring? Yeah. I have repair powder too. Is It does these attacks. That's the, the one handed one. It slams it down. And the two handed one, I like the two handed one, the two -handed one more. I'm losing like my voice a little bit. I don't know why. Not my voice, something with my nose. But, yeah, this one is really cool. I like how it, he holds it like all the way back and then... Pfft, awesome. So, those moves are cool, but they're easily dodgeable. What makes, what I've been learning is it's good to kill people who are running away like that. But what I learned, um, it's also really good with people who are dodging if you do this. That. You see, what makes um, the R2s, in my opinion, really powerful uh, in this sword is that both mooses, look at this one too. Is anything different? Both of them, when you press R2 the second time, it does a second lightning attack and it does it like instantly, really quick. Like it's slow, they dodge, and then boom. And mostly this always ends up hitting them. There's even a good strategy actually to like, even if they're going for you, like if you attack like that and they go for you, if you do this, something even doesn't doesn't go all the way through, it will go through as damage and you will hit them. So it's it's a really good move set, move set, move set. <laughs> I said move, but it's a really good move set because of this, that second one, and it's a good sword in general, but that second one is what makes it good. So yeah, I have a plus five with lightning, <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's around 450 damage, approximately 450. Second weapon I have in my right hand is on the Avalon, a uh, plus nine because I don't want to bother. I don't know why I never bother putting it plus ten. I have like how many slabs? Eighteen. <laughs> I'm very conscious to where, where where to waste my slaps especially my um tweaking tantling tweaking uh, fuck i can't say it but yeah the avalon so i used to have a bow and if you look at my stats which i'll explain once i get there there's still room for a bow 
but I I wanted this. The purpose of this is actually running low now. I like I feel like I don't need this weapon no more. I I want to make a video of the bell how it is right now. But if I were to, and then I'm gonna make some do a little bit of what I would change of it and something I think I would change for sure was take this weapon because the whole point of this weapon is to kill people who are running away and I can easily do that with the lightning thorn gray sword and when with my um with my gray lightning spear so I don't see no point to keeping this it is six more pounds taking this away will make me actually like take ten because scouting in this game is fucking terrible. It will make me take um 10 points out strain instead of 5. And maybe, yeah. Because, this, what is it? Yeah, 15. It will, I think it will be better just taking it out of the thing. Out of the bell. It's not bad. Sometimes it does the job. But there's a lot of other things that do the job that you don't need Avalon. There's like, I could... I don't know why I have this, to be honest, it sucks, lighting urine, but I could throw that, I could throw some, throwing out some, um, holy water thingy, I've been seeing a lot of that in PvP, but it's just better options instead of this, and, um, yeah, I don't see it worth it, I may change this for a bow, just for the heck of it, just for, I think it would be better, I like this better than, the main reason why I like the Avalon, it's because the simple fact that I can shoot three of them and it sometimes it's hard to dodge. Is that opposed to a bow, a bow you need to do this. You need to switch to the bow. You need to hold it. You need to or want, like lock onto them or aim and then shoot. Avalon is mostly like all you do is this. Aim and then shoot. Then you even have to aim, you have to lock on. <laughs> Take it out quickly, lock on and then shoot. It is extremely fast and that's what I like about it. Opposed to a bow. But, uh, yeah, there's better options. Like, if they're running away or try to, trying to heal, this is a better option. Using my sword, why not? But it's part of the bow right now, so I'll keep it. My shield right now, the Royal Kite Shield. Not a bad shield. But I would change it while I doubt. Like, shields I would change it for mostly, like, I, I gotta say the Defender. I would like to have the defender on it. The only reason I don't have the defender and I have the cat shield is because the defender has great magic defense, I guess. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Getting confused right now. Okay, got it. <laughs> so, what's really. I don't know why I have this plus 8, to be honest. It should be like plus 9, maybe even plus 10. It is better because I can actually upgrade this. Opposed to the Fender Grisha, I need to actually use um, Petrified Dragon Mode, which is hard to come by, and shards are limited, <laughs> except for the Syllabs. But yeah, uh, the Defender only beats it on on um, Magic Defense, and then I guess you can say some um, some Lion Defense, which is pretty much all you see on PvP. So <laughs> maybe I should switch to the Defender Grisha, but. Uh, I've been using the right shield for now, forever. Uh, it is I d the point of the build was that I wanted something that was 100% uh, physical, physical reduction, and I still want to keep it true to that. It definitely beats the Dragon Link shield, which I think sucks. Uh, what else is there I could use? I, 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 this is also cool, but it just doesn't fit the build, in my opinion. I'm all about fashion souls, you know. <laughs> This one is, is a show I've been interested in, but again, fashion souls. I don't know. Stone shield. Meh. Oh no, terrible defense. Yeah, I, I will stay with this one for now. I will definitely change it to the defender ratio, and it is something I've been wanting to do, but I just, eh, I never make the because I'm one of those people that if I'm gonna use something, I want it like full, like at least close to fully upgraded. I don't like using something Melina. Melina. Oh my god, I suck at English. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah. Most of the time, I don't use a shield, I'll be honest. Um, pairing with um, a regular shield is, like, for me, not impossible. I know some people could do it, but if you're going to do pairing, you need 
small shields or you need like bucklers and, or parry knives. And in PvP where there's lag, uh, yeah, no. So, I, I guess one of the only reasons I use the shield is whenever I get like stupid phantom range beyond imagination. I like keeping it up for that. But that's about it. I really, I have become one of those guys that I, I think I could do really well in this game without a shield. Machimi. <laughs> Machimi. The dragon chime. A chime. Why am I saying Machimi? So, yeah. Pretty standard. I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of explaining everything. Oh, by the way, you can. Uh, I guess I'm going to explain where you get all of this stuff. Thorn Grey Sword. You get a. Use, it's a boss weapon. You get from. Um, from the Looking Glass Knight. If you go to the Bershik. Lightning Evelyn, um, you get them on Undead Crypt through a um, hidden wall, illusionary wall, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Royal Card Shield, you buy it from the Blacksmith on the Bastille. The Dragon Shimmy, there's two ways to get it. You get finished through the quest line on, um, on the Dark Programs, whatever the hell they're called. Or you can just kill the dude and he'll drop it. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's all I had too. Um, if you attack, because I kill everyone in my first playthrough. This is NG Plus, by the way. And it's funny when you attack him. He literally tries to like he with lightning, and he's super slow. But yeah, um, best shimmy for lightning. So it's pretty much standard lightning dragon shimmy plus five. Look at that lightning damage. Yeah. I really don't know what else to say. It's it's good. Oh yeah, and boats. Um, the boats I use heavy bow, lightning bow. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest when it comes to the weapon selection. I don't even use the Avalon anymore. I almost forget I have it most of the time. In the shield, it's just there whenever I get phantom range or if my opponent has infinite stamina, which sucks. Okay, so now for my miracles. So this right here is just PVE miracles. <laughs> I, I just like going through a level I don't want to even deal with it anymore. I just spend it with Great Lightning Spear. So I'm going to go right now and put my PVP miracles. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stay here. This is what I use for PVE. I use Great Lightning Spear, one slot. Sunlight Blade, one slot. Great Magic Berry, one slot. And Great Heal, one slot. A total of four slots, three slots with the ring, and I have ten, ten points on the tomb, so that's one slot. Um, I would, I would, I would use um, great, great um, what is it called? Oh my God, I forget when I forget the names of things. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot. Wrath the gods, oh wog. They just call it Wog. How did I forget that for so long? I will use Wog, but again, I gotta earn it, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not using meals or nothing like that. But if I do get Wog, what I will end up changing is pretty much heal. Great heal is just there for PvP, but I found out it's not that great. A lot of people say PvP, it's kind of broken because you need, like, the reader should be able to heal. I kind of disagree with that. I will make an entire... No, I won't. Like, I have difficulty speaking in this video in of itself. Making a video explaining what is wrong with the thing that is wrong with PvP. It's not necessarily the game itself. There are some things that are wrong with PvP that are the game's fault. But most of it is just the people playing it. I guess you could say the community, which I don't like. I don't think these people belong in the community. Gankers, people waiting for you. Because the thing is... Is when you invade, you can heal the host can heal, but then again, you are getting the drop on them. You are prepared to fight. They may not be, and you can use, and you can use, um you can use the enemies to your advantage. So I feel that is fair. But right now, the way people are, whenever you make someone, people are mostly always ready for you. Sometimes they're waiting you waiting for you on a certain area where. They're gonna get a cheap shot on you. They probably kill all the enemies in the area, and wait, they are waiting for you, and they and they can heal. That makes it 
kind of unfair and of course gankers which have become extremely popular nowadays in Dark Souls 2 so I feel in those two situations Great Hill is not that worth it it's it's not useful against the people who you you're actually getting the people you invade they aren't prepared to fight you it's not useful against them and if you get gank it's not gonna be useful either because most likely they kill everyone and you'll die regardless because it's lock. So I will definitely change chill for Wog once I do get it. On Sunlight Blade, you know, buff the weapon. Grand Magic Barrier, by the way, Grand Magic Barrier was in here until I got Wog. And I ended up loving Grand Magic Barrier. It's, it's a pretty good spell. I feel like Grand Magic Barrier and I guess you can call heal are kind of mandatory for PvP. Other than that, other miracles, I don't see any other miracles I would prefer. Like, Soa Peas is very interesting, but it only works a few times. And um, Heavily Thunder is not that great. Any spell that puts you vulnerable for a, um, for a large amount of time where you can do anything is terrible, in my opinion. Because they can just use their spell right in your face. They're just like, they're either, they'll either... Oh my god, I know bad English. Spam this spell. Spam a shit ton of these spells. Right here. They'll spam um whatever they have in terms of resonant. One of these two, they'll spam it right in your face. You can't do anything about it, so I hate spells that leave you vulnerable for a while. I think that's about it. I will definitely change the heal for Wog though. That's the only thing I would change about the spells. So now I'm gonna go over my my stats, but before that, let me kind of do a little bit of summarize, I guess. Spell wise, this is definitely gonna change for Wog. You don't need A for PvP because you only use this if you're a good player. Whenever you see an opening, and most likely you're only gonna see like four openings in a row. Sometimes I do spam it. I will be honest, but I don't spam it until they're all gone. I know I need to save all these like two to four. For that exact moment where they, I know they can't dodge it. Or they're going to dodge it bad. Sunlight Blade, you know, just more power and Grand Magic Barrier because everyone uses magic. And magic buffs. You really don't need this ring. That's another thing I want to no say about that. For Thorn Graysword because, again, you're not going to be spamming this attack all the time. It's not going to work. You need to fire your opponent. And maybe you may do it in the beginning of the matchup just to get like a cheap like attack on them. But after that it's it's like Grey Lightning Spear. You just gotta find for an opening and you and mostly you won't need this ring. But if you if you like spamming this then maybe you will need it. I'll be honest, sometimes, sometimes I do spam it but it's not I'm most of the time I don't. You gotta be very careful with it. In the beginning of the matchup, it's good. And then, you gotta, after that, it's just finding a great opening. So, my stats 11 million soul memory. Gaining pair against people who are 240 level. Again, that's soul memory. That's a different topic. Um, There's a lot in the stream. So, I'm just gonna focus on attributes. 36 vigor. 20 endurance and blah 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 you can tell so what I would change those are my stats I'll I'll start right here telling you guys what I would change but let me explain every stat I guess uh, 36 vigor because um, I already have points on everything else and at the time I made this bill on uh, my in my mind 1800 was the pretty much the amount of hell you need I know it's going around like 20 2000 or 2100 but when I made the bell my mind 1800 was the amount of health you need 20 endurance because why go even higher you really don't need more than 20 sometimes I do I feel like you do but no 20 endurance works really well with bill um 18 vid I thought I only needed 15 I'm pretty sure all I needed was 15 but apparently I need like around 18 to use everything 10 or 2 men for one slot because that's all I need because all I need is four and the ring gives me three 
There is strength because I only need 25 there, but why not 30? I kind of if if I knew better, I would have taken five points from there and put it somewhere else because scaling in this game is terrible. And plus, if I'm gonna do scaling, it's mostly gonna be on lightning damage, so it's probably would have gone on fate. 16 decks. The reason I have 16 instead of 15 is because I want to leave it open so I can use a bow whenever I want to. Uh, 18. Uh, that stat that gives you agility. I can't say it. I, I'm gonna embarrass myself more. Wait. Wait, pronunciations. Oh my god, I can't even pronounce pronunciations. That's how bad my English is. But yeah, 18. I always. I. I do think knight 6 is the sweet spot for agility. Just for common agility. You really don't need. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about agility. It's something that's extremely weird, in my opinion. But I do think knight 6, in my mind, is the sweet spot. Don't need int at all. By the way, this is a warrior class, so. Yeah. And 50 face, so I can use shimmy. So I guess let's start what I would change. What do I dial? Let me let me go with equipment. Avalanche out. Um, I will keep the shimmy. I'll put in the defender gray shield. Keep this. I will keep this too. I may change the leggings and the these two pieces, but I will keep this because I want to keep it true to my um to this look, you know. I don't know. What would it change this for? Um, honestly, the kings. The, all the king stuff looks awesome, to be honest. Except for the heppies. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Actually, it doesn't fit that good. Hmm. Um. Okay. Enough fa fashion souls. I don't know, I would change these two pieces. Even though I've been using them ever since the beginning of the game, I would change them because I do like the chest piece and I do like the head piece. And usually the legs and the hands are always something that doesn't matter. So that's what I would do. I would take this out. I would change these two. I would change the shield to the defender great shield. Or another shield that gives me a better something better than this, I guess. Even though that's a good shield by the way. Um, honestly, I will add a bow. I think that's what I will do. In terms of what bow, I don't know. Either the lightning bow or the... Actually, you know what? The sea bow. Yes, that's what I will do. I would take this one out and add the sea bow. In terms of my... So, in terms of my attributes, what I would do then is... um. The sea bow, the reason I would do the sea bow is because I think stout, like, let me see. God damn it, I don't have another. Okay, there it is. Another long bow. 75. This does 72. This has a shit ton more range. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Same weight. It just does. The sea bow just does 3 less damage and has 15 more range. Plus, it doesn't. What what the sea bow does? Uh, the reason I'm I kind of will change it to sea bow as I look at it right now, is because of because this uses this uses 16 fate, and this uses um 15 not fate um dexterity. So it lets me take that point now. It does. Actually, this kind of doesn't matter. So what I would change in terms of my stat points then. I'll definitely take 10 points away from strength, 1 point away from dex. Um, my bid will then go down because I will go from a 2 pound, 6 pound item to a, um, to a, um, 2 pound item. But then again, I'm upgrading my shield from a 3 pound, a 4 pound, wait, 4? Yeah, 4 pound shield to a 5 pound shield. A, um, a six pound Avalon to a two pound bow. So yeah. 
that's what's gonna happen so I think bed would change a little bit I will definitely change also the the leggings and the the hands so also that will make they go down I think I will change the leggings and the hands all the way so I could bring it all the way down to I'm gonna say 14 so that means I'm gonna have four points out from the 10 points out strength one point out dexterity that's 15 points out which is pretty much 135 <laughs> it's funny because um, I 135 is what a lot of people are saying that that's what they will do instead of um, 150 I do agree 150 is too high it's funny <laughs> it's hilarious because um, 135 will be after I take all those points that I don't need no more I don't need I only need 135 so I have 15 extra to waste I'll probably just put it on bigger actually no I'll, I will add um huh let me let me see this I think I will add 10 points into a two minutes so I can get three more slots just for heck of it and four points into vigor and just for the fuck of it one point to add that ability that's what I would do <laughs> it's funny <laughs> 135 my god the solo is way too high and then I guess so that's what I would do it that's my build I know this video makes no sense whatsoever like I'm very confusing but what I would change about this build what I would doubt the reason I don't do this is because I'm bored of this build and I'm gonna make a new one I'm gonna restat it or just not play this build no more or not play it that much it changes shield to defender I know I reset this but I'm gonna go really quick right now take that lens change for the seatbelt change these two to something change my my vet to 14 change my strength to 20 my dex to 15 I'll be have 15 points extra to waste. I put four points into vigor, one point into agility. I'm just gonna call that shit agility, and 10 points into a two minutes. So I get three more slots, and you know, that's what I would do. So that's my build. Very confusing video, I know. I probably could do a better video, but I suck at doing this. So I guess. This is for you, people. <laughs> Bye.